without the last minute plea of one East Tennessee mother 100 years ago, we women might not be voting. And we certainly wouldn't have as many women running for state, federal, and local office as we do today. It was the summer of 1920. Tennessee was the last state needed to ratify the 19th Amendment. Hundreds gathered at our capital to rally. Those in favor of ratification wore a yellow rose. Those against equality wore a red one. The night before the vote, the amendment was one vote short. A state legislator named Harry wore his red rose proudly until he reread a letter from his mother. Feb Burns implored her son to quote, hurrah and vote for suffrage, don't keep them in doubt. The very next day, Harry Byrne voted to ratify the 19th Amendment and give women the right to vote and change the course of history. We've seen progress made over these hundred years, but there is still work to do. Many women of color don't get to vote because of systemic racism and voter suppression. And in Tennessee, only 24% of elected legislators are female. 2020 is when we change that. Across Tennessee, more women than ever are stepping up to run for local, state, and federal offices. We have teachers, essential workers, activists, doctors, veterans, mothers, foreign policy experts, business leaders, women who make a difference in our communities. In 1920, Tennessee did what was best for the nation. Let's do it again in 2020.